Well, Ernie Gaskin is now here with his Oaks finalist, New in Liz, a delightful little thing she is. But let's talk about her runs at Swindon, Ernie, because the one thing I would say more than anything is consistent. Yes, she is consistent. She's taken to Swindon very well. Um, we had her a, a middle seed on her um, earlier in her career. Uh, we switched to a wide seed. Not that she's a natural out-and-out -out wide runner, but she just seems to break from, from trap six. And so she's, she, we've been very lucky, and we keep getting trap six, and she keeps breaking. So, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted to get six in the final. So hopefully, yeah, like her consistency will continue for a little bit longer. <laughs> As you said, she's really taken to Swindon. You, she had the benefit of a look round there. You took her for a race before the Oaks even started. She's yeah. unbeaten yeah. at Swindon. And in all those runs, there's just one spot difference in her three sectionals. So you can hopefully rely on her to, to break come final night. Well, it's obviously, you know, it's, it's fingers crossed, you know, that uh, it, it, she, uh, she continues what she's doing. But she is. She, she's always been a very consistent uh, girl. Um, She's, she's done really well since we came out of lockdown. She, she's done really well. Um, very few opportunities uh, for, for good class bitches to run. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm most grateful to, uh, to Colin Davey for stepping in and sponsoring because, as I say, without the Oaks, I don't know, she wouldn't have been able to show us all what she can do, you know, so... What did you make of the semi-final run? Because on paper it reads straightforward, always led, but it was a gutsy run, wasn't it? She just made that bend in front. Yeah, she showed a lot of character, you mm. know, as I say. That's what she, I feel that she's the complete package. Um, I think the, the final is always going to take a lot of winning. All six dogs have got their on, on merit, and, and it's always hard. Queen Jessie J is, is a top-class bitch. Um, it's great that uh, the two of them have are going to meet it's like a the, the big final the big head-to-head -head, you, you know it, it's it's marvelous i think it's marvelous for the sport that we've got two really good bitches that's very little in them um and they're now going to meet in in the final how do you compare the two queen jesse j and her um i wouldn't swap anybody for liz <laughs> a very diplomatic way of putting it <laughs> Yeah, obviously. So Queen Jessie J is, is once again has got great form around Swindon, um, and she is a very, very good bitch. I, I, I've got the highest regard for her, and I do think that she's she's the one, yeah, like uh, to to beat. You, you know, um, as I say, Lizzie has, has has done extremely well. She's almost like a late developer. Um, you know, she wasn't even good enough to to get entered in uh, in the puppy competitions. Um, but the last few months, she's just come into herself and, and as I say, she's just keep getting better and better.